Okay, so, the other day, I was messing around in the Oracle of Ages, and I actually found a remarkable new glitch. So the way this works, I'm mean, actually builds off of the uh, Varenwarp glitch, which is fairly well established at this point. It's a glitch which um, warps you to the final boss Varan, and also has a number of side effects on your file. One of those side effects, as I found out recently, is that this harp actually reappears in the neighbor's house, even though, as you can see, I already have the harp. So what happens if I take the harp a second time? Well... As you can see, this is an entirely new song, which nobody had discovered before. Uh, so... Go to the inventory. As you can see, we now have four songs. So let's try playing this. Um, we have to go outside, because harp songs only work outside. So, let's give this a whirl. Well, as you can see, that's the final boss cannon right there. Uh, which is great, but there's a problem. See, he wasn't the only object who spawned in just now. Um, we also have a Toke mini game going on at the same time. And we actually need to play this while we're fighting Ganon, because um, if we fail, we actually get warped back to Toki Island. So it's pretty difficult to do both at the same time. Um, like, yeah, I haven't done it yet. It's probably not even possible uh, with just a level 1 sword. Um, maybe with the Master Sword and Red Ring. Anyway, we failed, so we get warped back here. The glitch isn't over yet, though, um, because everything that just happened actually corrupts this guy's script. Uh, yeah, his text is a bit garbled. I can't really tell what he's saying. Uh, it's probably not important, though. Uh, the interesting thing is that after this... After a few seconds, we actually get warped into Link's Awakening. Um, except Link is a Toke now, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the way this works is, um, after you talk to the Toke, the game enters this loop which overwrites memory at arbitrary locations with arbitrary values. It just so happens to do this in such a way that it overwrites the entire game's memory with a replica of Link's Awakening. So that's pretty cool. At the very end, though, it replaces Link's sprite with uh, Toke. It's kind of odd, actually. Uh, anyway, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what people can do with this. I think this could lead to some really interesting new speedrunning categories. Uh, anyway, that's all for that's all for now. Thanks for watching.